Hello fellow dudes, Leilani is my name. I'm rapping in chapel and changing up the game. To all of the freshmen, I hope you're doing well. As for the sophomores, sweet like caramel. Juniors, you're looking good today, but seniors, oh seniors, you take it all away. I'm looking at you all, and I'm about to ball. Graduation is near, but I'm glad we're all here. personal things or activities that fulfill them at the end of the day. For some people, it's watching their favorite TV show or taking a hot bath or letting their dogs lick their toes all night. <laughs> For me, I have this tiny yellow book. Its name is Melting Memories. Why so? Well, this book is filled with memories in which are so powerful they melt out of my eyes in happiness. Well then, if I have an entire book dedicated for memories, what are a few of my happiest ones? Well, I once tickled Leon so hard he fell to the ground. Hans can testify to that. On Halloween, I dressed up with one of my best friends, Jackie Stark, as Shrek and Fiona, and I watched her step on gum. <laughs> I peed my pants on a carnival ride, danced with a very sweaty hippie, and I tripped up the stairs, spilling all of my food, all of my food on myself in the process. Those are my happy memories. Well, just to name a few. I once read a few of these special stories aloud, and the reaction I got may be similar to what some of you are experiencing yourself. The listener responded, Really, Leilani? Those are your happiest memories? Gosh, if tripping up the stairs is what makes you happy, your life must suck. <laughs> Ouch. As I thought about it, I realized, wow, my happy memories do not sound at all like what spectacular memories should sound like. The word happiness is often associated with something far more grand and not a simple moment. In this life, I have asked multiple people what it was their happiest memories were. And more often than not, it was what one would categorize as a grand experience. Winning the state championship, getting accepted into the number one school in the nation, getting married, and holding their baby for the first time. Now don't get me wrong, these are beautiful memories. But it is important to recognize the beauty behind what may not pres be presumed as so grand. It is the tiny little moments in which create the ones we see as large. When a flower is growing, it is not one huge bucket of water once a month that will help it to thrive. It is the delicate rain every single day, slowly nourishing the delicate beauty. These are the things that feed into our soul. These are the tiny little memories that act as our blood cells. These are the things that make you feel you and are pure examples of life itself. Life is not only defined as a big bang or sudden creation. No, life is defined as tiny seeds slowly, slowly sprouting beneath the soil. Life is more than just a definition and an underestimated experience. Similarly, high school is not only about your big moments and how you suddenly became a new and improved person. The term high school cannot be simplified into a dictionary definition. High school is about taking cool classes that you love and enjoy. It's about exploring the different outdoor trips with people you don't know. It's laughing as Renee Jenkinson dances like a samurai from Milan singing, let's get down to business and defeat the Huns. Ha! Huh. <laughs> it's watching PT dance on stage with a passion. It's getting a warm hug from all of your friends and eating lunch while looking at Mauna Kea. I think of laughing with the Sodexo workers, falling on stage during Olympics, and screaming my heads off with all of my friends so that we could lose our voices the next day. Senior year is here for some of us, and high school will end shortly. In all of my four years, I can say high school is so much more complex than what stereotypes can ever mean it to be. It is something to indulge into without any resistance or fight to hold back. 
And speaking of holding back, there is a need to release beyond the boundaries of society. It's the big F word. Yeah, that one. Feelings. <laughs> I'm currently reading a book called The Host. For some of you that are probably not familiar, this book tells a story of adventure about aliens not only taking over Earth, but the bodies that live on it. I'll try to explain. Basically, human bodies become the host bodies for foreign alien species souls. If that makes any sense. Though a foreign soul is placed into the human body, the soul still lives as a human might and will still feel the same things as a human would. Through this crazy experience, a lot of different events take place, take place and the pleasures and pains of humanity is demonstrated. Some pains include the confusing behavior represented in humans and their problem to fool someone else with their ability to lie. On the other hand, the book uses the characters to demonstrate what I would consider the best thing about being human, the ability to feel what is beyond yourself. Feeling is the most powerful and beautiful gift to ever exist. It has the ability to change what was once thought to be unchangeable and to enhance things that were thought to never get any better. And one of the best things to feel is the feeling of love. Love has a power beyond anything a human can invent in a science lab or any event such like so. But love is a vulnerable exercise. With love, sometimes comes pain. And I know that for a fact. My mother was an angel living on Earth. Her heart had sunshine and flowers, and she loved everyone with more love than her entire existence. There were times where her love helped sprout seeds in one's heart, and there were times when others rejected her, ripping the roots out of her very core. Sorry. Love had sometimes hurt, but in the end, the magic, she left the magic she left behind was far more powerful than any pain she might have ever felt. And last year, my mother passed away very suddenly. As you might imagine, I had put a lot of love into this beautiful lady, and the pain I experienced as she died was unbearable. I had moments where I found myself thinking, why did I have to love her so much? Why? After nights of tears that felt more like rain, I realized that the ability and experience to love and to be loved is far greater than any pain that may or may not follow. Now, I know I'm not the best rapper, and I know I have some weird stories, but if there's anything that I have left here, please allow it to grow. There is power in noticing everything, fully embracing them and fully embracing all of our feelings because that is what life is about. The beauty of being a part of the human species is our ability to feel our emotions to the extended level that we can. And that includes high school. Do not let it slip by. Grab a hold of it like a kite flying in the wind. And feel every single thing possibly within. Crying, screaming, laughing until one pees. And not only embracing the feeling of love, but providing the feeling of love as well. I love you all and thank you all.